All right, guys, so this is part two, man, of the video I posted earlier showcasing the two-man sequencing. And this is from a stream that I did a few days ago, so that's why you see my face there on the screen. So <laughs> I guarantee you, even with me saying that, there's gonna be some that's gonna say, hey, the audio isn't matching the webcam. Listen again, this is from a stream, okay? <laughs> but before we get started with that, guys, let me remind you to go ahead and subscribe to the channel, cut on your notifications, and hit that like button. And of course, guys, if you wanna go back and hear what I said in real time, you know, this stream, it's at the 45 minute mark, right around the 45 minute mark is where I'm diving into this. So if you wanna hear what I'm actually saying there, you know, feel free. But basically what I'm showcasing here, man, is you're gonna see a better interaction between players. As you see Preston Smith right there, Tyron Smith, as well as Ezekiel Elliott, okay? Now I'm controlling Zeke because I was playing with the Cowboys and it's still not, you know, perfect. And when I say perfect, it's not like I'm looking for perfection, but what I mean is it's not ideal as far as how I would like it to play out because this could very easily, you know, very easily be a three-man sequence. If you guys remember a few years back, they implemented a system where, you know, three guys could interact at one time. Like you could literally see a guy get tackled um, as he's, be, you know, a guy making a tackle as he's being blocked and all three players would fall down. So that could be this right here, okay? And ideally you wanna get it to a point where there's no pre-canned sequence, right? But if you can't do that, at least allow these sequences to play out appropriately when they're supposed to. This is a much better representation than what we saw in my last video where, you know, the safety from the Ravens had no awareness of Chris Carson. At least right here, Preston Smith is engaged with Tyron Smith and he's able to reach out and attempt to slow down Ezekiel Elliott, right? And not only are you gonna see him attempt to slow him down, and you know, you guys are probably still laughing at the uh, my camera there. I got it, you know, I, I'm slowed it down a little bit, so obviously it looks funny how I'm talking there. But again, guys, this is, the audio that you're hearing is not from the video. So let me keep saying that, because I guarantee somebody in the comments is going to say, it doesn't seem to match up. But anyway, getting back to what we were talking about, this also gives us the effect of leverage coming into play because when I swing it around here it should be here in a moment <laughs> look at look at me look at my look at my face there <laughs> what I was talking about there in the original video guys is how I always want to see defenders looking from left to right you know what have you looking for the football that's how they're going to decide which way they're going to block shit I want to see more of that and hopefully in next level Madden we get more of that you know, unchain these sequences. But again, if you must do it, just uh, make sure these sequences are playing out in a realistic fashion. So not only are you seeing Preston Smith appear to be aware here, but also, here we go, as a swing it around, you're gonna see that his loss of leverage allows him to be blocked even further. So you're gonna see what appears to be leverage at his disadvantage and weight and momentum from Tyron Smith, able you know to get a real clean pushback on him in his block, right? And then you know you got some funny movement right there by Nindy, you know number ninety-seven. There, it's some very funny movement right there. But he's you know he's representing the fact that he trips over Tyron Smith's feet or what have you. But like I said, man, if you look at how this block is finished, and it's because one would think that Preston Smith is now off balance because he's trying to reach and take down Ezekiel Elliott. This is how it should play out. And again, ideally you wanna see it to where these animations are not sequenced and just play out on its own. But if you're gonna have sequences, at least allow it to play out the way it did there. All right, guys, that's all I got for this one, man. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, cut on your notifications, hit that like button. Catch you in the next one. Peace.